Hey y'all, my name is Kayla Caroline. Welcome. Throughout the years, God has so gracefully been unfolding who he's created me to be. As I walk with him in different seasons and situations, I'm constantly finding pieces of myself. As I reach my adult years, I question what God called me to do and who he created me to be. I would always wonder what career path would be most fitting that I could see myself doing for the rest of my life. That's just how I looked at things. I so frustratingly lived in constant question of what I was really meant to pursue. I always thought there were a few different groups of people. A group of people who know what career they want to pursue right away. A group of people who learn the initial choice isn't a good fit and quickly choose another path. And from the outside looking in, it just seems like those people so seamlessly adjust. Lastly, a group of people who have no clue what they're called to do, but fake it because they don't want to awaken any dissonance. I've never fit into any of those groups. I'm a recovering overthinker, so if something didn't seem right, I would ruminate on it until I figured things out. Of course, your identity is more than your occupation, but the enemy always threw in my face that I didn't have this one thing that I was good at and could pursue. I discovered sometime in college that I had a multi-talented aspect to my life, and that's okay. That's how God wired me. Quick side note, I remember receiving a word of wisdom from a pastor who confirmed this and said to ask God to reveal the priority of the season. He said God would give me clarity and that would help me know which gifts to utilize at that given time. So for anyone who feels like they um, don't have just one thing that they want to pursue or have multiple passions, don't freak out. Ask God to reveal the priority of the season. All right, so having many potential career paths can be great, but there's something more important than that. I'm finally at a place where I can confidently say I know who I am. I may not always know where God is calling me or what he's calling me to, but I know who I am and that's enough. When my job position changes or the external elements of my life shift, the root of my identity will never change. When I'm moving from one assignment to the next or in a waiting season, the most important piece of my identity doesn't change. And when the enemy tries to throw in my face that I don't have this one particular thing that I'm good at, I can quickly quiet that noise when I boldly declare this, I am a child of God. The one who created and sustains the universe loves me and is fathering me. I've surrendered my life to the King of Kings and made him Lord over my life. Who I am in him means more to me than the jobs I work or positions I'm in. I could be called to higher education, but if I lack identity, I'm lost. I could be called to entrepreneurship, but if I'm constantly questioning who I am, does it even matter? People for years have gone on these journeys of self-discovery because they desire to know who they are. For people who have put their faith in Jesus and acknowledge what he did on the cross, there's good news. You have become a new creation in Christ. You now have true identity. I think sometimes we get caught up in other ways we could identify ourselves. For me, I could say I'm black, I'm a woman, I'm a daughter, I'm outgoing, and the list could go on. But the most important identifier is child of God. Knowing who you are matters. If you struggle with knowing who you are, that is okay. You can start with knowing your faith in Jesus alone adopts you into God's family. You're no longer an orphan. You don't have to wonder what family or group you belong to. You don't have to freak out over an identity crisis. You are a child of God. You can let that truth sink in. It's such a beautiful process whenever God begins to reveal who you are in him. I mean, come on, if anyone knows who you are, it would be him. God is the one who knit you together in your mother's womb. He can tell you how you were so beautifully designed. This is so important. For me, I had to realize my true identity was more important than a career. I attended a Bible study recently and the facilitator said something so simple, but it really stood out to me. She said, your job is a tool for God. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. <laughs> that was such a good reminder. And I mean, if you find your identity in your job and then you lose your job, what happens then? If you don't know who you are outside of that job, I can imagine you being very upset, wondering how something you used to identify yourself with was taken away. It would probably make you feel worthless because the thing you put your hope in is gone. The thing that made you feel worthy and gave you purpose is now causing pain and confusion because you made a tool the source of your identity. This is true for other things as well. Your true identity isn't wrapped up in your political affiliation, your sexuality, a relationship, your accolades, the amount of money in your bank account. As a Christian, it's rooted in Jesus. I want to encourage you to set some time aside and pray. Ask God to reveal who you are in Him. Also, read your Bible. It'll tell you what it means to have an identity in Jesus. My identity in Him means more than anything else in this world. Knowing my true identity has actually increased my confidence. I know who I am, and regardless of what happens in my world, the root of my identity remains unchanged. I am a child of God.